Rebecca, are you home already? Rebecca, shut up already. I'm not home yet because I'm still with my friends. I asked you to take care of the house today because I'll be home late preparing for tomorrow. Besides, haven't you been out too much lately? I'm a college student now, so what I do is my business. I don't need a failure like you to tell me what to do. I'm seriously embarrassed that you only completed junior high school and work at a cheap diner. But I'm still your mother. I raised you by myself. I didn't even have time to choose a job I like. I had to work somehow. I had to earn money. Yes, yes, yes. I've heard a lot about your struggles. But I don't know a single kid other than me who has a mother with only a middle school education. And I never hear about one that works in a diner. I'm seriously embarrassed by your existence. Rebecca, I don't judge people by their education or their profession. Everyone has their own life story to tell. Everyone lives with different circumstances. You're just trying to make excuses. Anyway, it's really embarrassing that my mother only completed middle school and is an idiot. I don't even consider you my mother. Rebecca. I studied hard and got into Harvard. I didn't take it easy. I studied hard. I'm good at what I do, aren't I? Don't make it sound like you're the only one who had a hard time. Well, that's true, but... Oh, you're really pissing me off. I don't want to see your face. I want to cut the ties between you and me. I'm not coming home for a while. You're not coming back. Where are you going? You can't stay at your friend's house. You'll get in trouble. You should come home. Nancy, how are you? Dad? Yeah, I'm okay. Hmm. What's wrong? Something happened? Why? Well, I thought it's unusual for you to send me a short reply. You always send me long messages about the most recent things that happened. I guess you really know me, huh? Rebecca has been really rude to me recently. About what? She said she's ashamed that I'm her mother. She even wants to stop our relationship. She says she studied hard and got into Harvard. And she's ashamed that her mother is only a middle school graduate with a low-paying job. Rebecca said that. How can she think your job is bad? Yes, but... Did I make a mistake in raising that girl? I don't know. I'm not so sure anymore. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You've done more than anyone else to raise your child. I've seen it from your side, and I know you better than anyone else. But Rebecca doesn't seem to think so. I was shocked. My own daughter wants to disown me. Was it wrong for me to raise a child on my own? No, that's not true. You certainly had to work your way through middle school. Not because you couldn't study. Not because you didn't want to go to school. It was for me. You sacrificed yourself for me. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Dad... Rebecca's being really awful. I'll talk to her. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Thanks, Dad. Just talking to you made me feel better. Hey! I just got a call from Grandpa. What the hell do you think you're doing? You know I love Grandpa. How dare you say something so unnecessary? What do you mean by unnecessary? I was just asking him to help me with the problem. 
problem? You're a middle school graduate. What can you do? Were you asking him what you can do to escape from your sad life? Rebecca, I've worked my ass off to raise you. I don't consider myself to have a sad life. But hey, you're still only a middle school graduate, right? I've told you many times, there are no such mothers among Harvard parents. That's... Everyone has their own circumstances, right? Huh? The reason why you couldn't study? Don't make me laugh. Why couldn't you? What? Why is it that Grandpa graduated from college? He graduated from college and even runs a company. But you are only a middle school graduate. I have a lot of respect for my grandpa. But you are different. You're still working at a crappy diner at your age. Oh, how embarrassing. Is your education so important? Is your occupation that important? You can't judge a person by that. There are many more important things. There it is! Huh? You're so quick to defend having a low education and a crappy job. You're trying to justify yourself, aren't you? Justify? I'm not going to admit that I'm a daughter to a shameful woman like you. I would never admit my mother is such an embarrassment. It's awful. You hate me so much. Okay, I get it. I don't want to think of you as my mother. I don't want a mother like you. Yeah, I'm not your real mother. So I don't care if you feel that way. What? What are you talking about? I took you in as a newborn. I took you in when you were a baby and raised you with my own hands. You and I are not related by blood. Huh? That's a stupid lie, just because I made fun of you for only graduating from junior high school. You think you're going to punish me, don't you? Don't try to fool me with some random made-up story. Well, if you don't believe me, that's fine. I told you the truth. Hey, what the hell is going on? You were acting weird, so I went to the authorities and checked. You and I were never related. I told you so, didn't I? I didn't lie. Then who the hell am I? I thought you were my mother, and my father died in an accident. That's because you were little. I just made up a story that made sense to a kid. Oh, really? That means I don't have your genes after all. That's why I was the only smart one. That makes sense. You're such a... I don't know how you turned out like that. I must have raised you wrong. No, that's not it. I must have good blood from my parents. That's why I'm so successful, unlike you. Are you serious? Of course I am. I'm not like you. I think it's time for me to say something about that. What? Don't be such a bother. I know your mother. The mother who gave birth to you. She was a middle school graduate who worked at a diner. Really? A diner? She was a very good-natured girl. Unfortunately, she was dependent on men. After work, she would hang out with a bunch of random guys. Then she had a child with an unknown father. And while she was struggling figuring that out, her belly got bigger and bigger, and she had to have the baby. No kidding! She was spending most of her income on her boyfriend, so she didn't have any money to pay for the baby. I took over for her. She and I worked together and we were friends. I told her I would help her raise the baby, but... One day, when I came to work, 
she left the child at the diner and ran away. What? I just couldn't leave her at an institution. I decided to raise her by myself. That's me? Is it true? It's true. Oh, my God. That's the worst. Does that mean that the mother who gave birth to me is trash? And the mother who raised me is also trash? And on top of that, I don't even know who my father is. Seriously, that sucks. Does that mean I had nothing but trashy women in my life? Trashy women? Because you both worked in a low-paying job at a crappy diner, right? Oh, that sucks. How can you be such a... Can you just stay out of my life? I don't know what I got into Harvard for. The only person I need is Grandpa. I hope it works out the way you want it to. What do you mean? Life. Things don't always work out the way you want them to. But it's the figuring out how to get through it that's the real fun. Seriously, you're so annoying. Grandpa? Oh, Rebecca, what's wrong? Hey, my mom abandoned me. She said she won't even pay my tuition anymore and kick me out of the house. You'll take care of me, right? Nancy abandoned you? Yes, she did. How can that be? She took parenting more seriously than anyone else. She'd protect you even at the cost of her own life. There's no way Nancy would abandon you like that. But it's true. She told me to leave because I'm not her real daughter. Rebecca, she's not the kind of person who would say such a thing. You can't lie to me, okay? What? So you believe her? Of course I do. Nancy insisted on taking you in and raising you herself. Me and Grandma were against taking you in. What? Grandpa, that's terrible. But it's the truth. Grandpa, how can you say that? Aren't you ashamed that your daughter is only a middle school graduate working in a diner all her life? I'm proud of my daughter. Why would you be? You graduated from college and run your own company. And your daughter is only a middle school graduate. Rebecca, that's enough. What? Have you ever thought about why Nancy got a job straight out of middle school? Because she couldn't study, right? Because she was failing, right? That's why she's still working in a diner. I was embarrassed the whole time, you know? Nancy was a very high achiever. In middle school, she was always first in her grade. You're kidding, right? If she had continued on to higher education, she would have even been admitted to Harvard. Huh? But the bubble burst in the fall of her junior year. My company was on the verge of bankruptcy because of it. As a business owner, I had to protect my employees. I was thinking of just going bankrupt and giving them the money for insurance. That's when Nancy came to my rescue. What? She said she'd work as long as she could. She said she didn't want the company that was her father's pride and joy to go bankrupt. Our family lived in poverty, but Nancy kept the company afloat by working. Nancy gave up her education and started working after graduating from junior high school for me. I was so moved by her courage that I was ashamed of myself. Oh? Is that so? Thanks to Nancy, I was able to work hard as well. Then, the economy gradually recovered and I was able to save this company. My company couldn't have come this far without Nancy. It's my fault that Nancy didn't go on to high school. I will not allow anyone to mock my courageous daughter, even you. But, I didn't know that. No one told me. 
You should have told me by now instead of keeping it to yourself. But you didn't listen, did you? And I can't tolerate people who look down on people because of their education or occupation. I heard you've said many terrible things about Nancy. I can't help someone who acts so awful to such a wonderful woman. Well, what do you mean? What about me? I mean, I won't take care of you. I won't even help you pay for school. If you want to graduate from Harvard, you're going to have to graduate on your own. Huh? Are you kidding me? I'm still a student. How can I possibly pay for tuition? Think about how you can pay for it. Huh? You just keep taking money from Nancy. You've been going out every night, haven't you? Nancy works so hard on her own. I'm not going to help someone who doesn't even know that. Huh? Wait a minute, Grandpa. I'm a student. There's no way I have that kind of money. Why don't you save up some money? If you don't have enough money, why don't you get a part-time job or something? It's your responsibility to figure out how to do it. Money doesn't come from nowhere, you know? Then what about my study time? I'm still a student. I'm still studying. Studying is my main job. Well, even if you don't finish college, your life can be whatever you want it to be with your own efforts. If you can't pay for school, then you have to go out and work. People aren't just about their education or occupation. It's about how you deal with yourself and how you treat others. Depending on that, you can make your own future. That's not... I'm not ruining my chances of getting through Harvard. You got into Harvard because of your mother's support, right? She's been working so hard to raise you since you were a little girl. What could you possibly learn at Harvard if you didn't seem to understand that in the first place? I have a feeling that what you need to learn is much, much further back than that. Don't you? Huh? How dare you say that? When I worked so hard to get into the school too. Can't you help me, Grandpa? I no longer consider you my grandchild. I won't help you anymore. You can try to live your life as you like. Grandpa? Hey, I haven't received my tuition money. There's no way I can pay for school, so you'll have to pay it. You're my mother, aren't you? I'm not your mother. We don't have a relationship. But you're the one who raised me all this time, aren't you? Don't you owe me support? I have raised you as if you were my own daughter. Then pay my tuition! I loved you more than anyone. I would have done anything for you. That's why I worked so hard, kept working at the diner all this time. Well, then, what's the problem? But I guess I was wrong in the way I gave you my affection. Huh? You don't understand people's feelings or hardships. You grew up judging people based on their education and occupation. Of course I did. I got into Harvard, so I'm not going to just throw that away. I need tuition money for that. You should pay it. Because I love you so much, I'm going to give you up. I want you to learn how to be a real human being. I want you to know that there are more important things than your education and occupation. What are you talking about? So I have decided not to fund you at all in the future. I will not pay your tuition either. If you still want to go to college, you'll have to handle it yourself. What? There's no way I can do that. That's why I called you. Because of you, even Grandpa gave up on me. So, then, you'll have to do it on your own, because there's no one to help you. You'll learn how hard it is to live and make a living. I want you to experience it firsthand. 
Isn't that irresponsible of you? No, you're a grown-up, an adult who has already passed the age of 20. You should be able to think about yourself and what you need to do. So I've decided to stop helping you. Oh no! You're saying the parent who raised me is abandoning me too? It's not abandonment. Like I said, you're over 20 years old now, so I guess you're graduating? You're joking, right? How am I supposed to go to college? That's what you have to figure out for yourself. First of all, think about what kind of way is there. I'm sure you can do it. I know you can do it because that's how I've lived my life. I'm not some high school dropout. Shut up and pay my college tuition. Oh, by the way, I'll say this to my credit. I work at a diner, but I'm also a business owner. Huh? Thanks to years of hard work, I was given full control of the store. One day, the old boss decided to let me take the place over. No way! I had no idea how to run a business, and I had a hard time at first. But I learned a lot from your grandfather, and as time passed, we drew in more business. Now, I own five restaurants. You don't have to graduate from college to make a living. What's important is to be humble and ambitious. That's what I want you to learn. I don't care what you say. I'm still going to be a college graduate. That doesn't matter. I've been learning since I finished middle school. You have to learn things on your own. Oh... Mom, I'm sorry. I apologize. So please pay my tuition. Please let me go to college. If you want to go to college, go on your own. I've decided not to support you in any way from now on. There's nothing more you can say to me. I will cut off all ties with you, whatever the outcome. What? If you do that, I won't be able to live. If that's what you think... Then you'd better act now. You've been accepted to Harvard, so get your head out of your ass and think about it. Mom, please, forgive me. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm sorry for all the things I've said. I just want to finish college. Don't make me say it again. I've already made up my mind. Well then, I wish you the best of luck in graduating from Harvard. Oh no! Mother! After that, Rebecca was living in a shared house with her friends. But she couldn't pay the rent, so she was kicked out. She started to work part-time to pay her tuition fees. But because she insisted on her own opinions, she was fired at every job she took, and none of them lasted. Finally, she had to drop out of school because she could not afford the tuition fees. It is a shame because it was undeniably her own hard work that allowed her to be accepted in the first place. It's a shame, but I guess that's the life Rebecca chose. She is now doing temp work to earn some money and moving from one friend's house to another. I can only hope that she will find her own path. I have decided to move in with my father which I have been thinking about for a long time. We talk about work every day at home. I will continue to cherish my father who is grateful to me.